Oh, well, that means we need to get carbon in here. Uh, easier said than done. Well, of course, the coal should be pretty nearby. Actually, it's right here on this little belt, so I could do their own carbon production. Yeah, let's do that because uh, the nearest carbon production is uh, those five there. They're already pretty strained. Because it's combined or split like twice here and then again here. Where is it actually going? So many places, like into into these. There's a whole bunch of them, and then the left one is going going through all of this stuff into. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going down into the copper production down there. And then it also goes like, uh, was it? Yeah, into those, and also into these, and maybe even <laughs> further. No, I think it stops there. Anyway, all the more reason to have its own stuff here. So we need a bunch of uh, those. What was the crafting time for the carbon? It is there. Only two. And then the crafting time for this, I mean that was, yeah, I mean this, yeah, that's the right one, that was seven. That one doesn't require carbon, and neither does that. Oh yeah, that one also requires powder stocks, <laughs> so it is actually pretty damn important, it's required by both of those. But let's do the uh, carbide thing first. So we set up some carbon right here. Yeah, all right, that takes care of that. We got a splitter and a sorter here going down to these five machines which get their water from this little pond that I uh, luckily left when I destroyed most of this lake. So now we get that to over here into where was the next step made? Uh, that stuff is made in a blue one which is the metal mixing luckily i accidentally built five of them when i was trying to do these they were the chemical furnace not the metal mixing one there we go it's all set up going into this chest here so we got four of those decided to go with an even amount because i need uh, more of the metal mixing furnaces for the other things and the tungsten plate and the uh, copper tungsten plate a lot of different tungsten things why are these not outputting anything what's going on ah the tungstic acid i've got i need to dump that somewhere into the provider chest um, i can do it here if i modify the inserters a little bit put it in there Put it in there, why are they not putting it up? Uh, because they need to be taking from further away. Yeah, you killed then the robots. Spring it away immediately. So next up, let's move on to the tungsten plate, because this one needs copper, which I haven't uh, moved here yet. But this one we just need hydrogen, which I can get from here, but then it'll run out though, because this needs an even amount of it. So I should produce more with uh, not water electrolysis, but uh, I think, was there a way to do it out of compressed air? Nope, damn it, it's gonna be the water. But I can use normal electrolysis, not salt water. So then I just need to dump the oxygen into up there where it's needed by all the nickel production and it's gonna be needed more because these uh, what was it? Uh, these things need the nickel. So let's build some electrolyzers. Uh, how much, much did they produce? Oops, uh, right, that's done. But what, what are these for? Uh, they were acid stuff. I kind of want the uh, armor piercing one, the blue, but I don't know if I have enough alien packs for that. Let's go have a look. How many? Blues 41 and 99, and it needed 100, so it should be doable. Let's do it. Looks like gold ones are out currently, though. Are the alien um, the robots not bringing them in? 200 should be requested. Maybe the blue science packs are out. 
Nope, there's plenty of them. Maybe it's just so damn slow because the process takes uh, 30 time units. I would need another one of those, but there's not enough room. Unless I move that somewhere else. But the rubber is made here. Although I do have resin production on the left, oh, right over there on that thing as well. Alright, I've tripled the output of the golden science packs. Uh, got rid of those rubber things. I should move them like over there or something or make more resin somewhere else. But it should be doable over there on the left. I think there's room somewhere. Anyway, now we get an advanced sorter here. Pumping both down here. Red on the left, uh, green on the right, and this belt just continues down to feed all three, and then it's also the output belt. Because <laughs> I ran out of room, or maybe I could have done it over here, but it's just easier to use this one. And then we have this uh, filter inserter here, putting the gold in there. And the robot, take it away. Take it away, my friends. Although it could be uh, doable to do a belt through here, but. Nah, at least the robots have something to do. Let's upgrade that and move it more this way. Although I re can't reach that one now. So let's upgrade something over here as well. Then again, there's nothing here that requires power. So I might as well leave it uncovered by the power grid. Uh, so now let's head over here and put those rubber things down. Although there's still this... Uh, Provider chest here that I need to move, but I don't have enough space to pick it all up. Oh shit, I noticed I forgot this splitter over here. I should move this to there to input before these guys, but then there's no room for that curvature thing unless I move this inserter, but then it won't insert into the splitter. You're running out of room. Um, or if I put it over here, then I could use a candle type inserter to input that away. Let's do that to straighten this thing out. Oh shit, I feared that would happen. Give back those things. Don't want them on this build. There we go, now this guy is at the end, so he'll output before these. So they won't be able to produce any unless... Uh, this runs out, that way I'll save up on stone. And uh, instead use this byproduct of the tungsten stuff. Then again, the tungsten won't be producing constantly because it's not used by any science or anything like that. But well, now let's figure out a place to build the rubber. So we got uh, natural resin right here, and then there's synthetic evil resin down here. Maybe I shouldn't use that. Let's use the natural like it was before. Should be able to fit them here. Only need like two of these. Although I could actually... Uh, hmm, what do the these thing needs other than gilded... I mean, what was the level 3? That one. They also need titanium. And the previous level and the previous level. So fuck it. They're so quick to build. If I want five of those, it takes like... One, two, three, four, five seconds or something. So let's just do the rubber here. Didn't need anything other than resin. Uh, I need a freaking friggin' one of those. I mean the... Oh, wait a minute, that's a normal electric furnace. You'd think that it would be a chemical one. But it's a metal mixing one. What the hell? Why does a metal mixing one make rubber? Weird. Oh well, it'll start making it right here. I, um, I guess it could take straight from the source. Blue artifacts complete. Hmm, wonder if I have enough for the uh, armor piercing bullets. But they need a blue alien alloy, which needed like uh, one alien <laughs> artifact a piece. Holy shit, I don't have that many. Uh, I guess I'll do the yellow one because I had like multiple, uh, 200 of them or something. Now where's the rubber wire? There you are. Ah oh, shit, I forgot it needs copper wire. Damn it, so I can't just do it anywhere. But there is cop not copper wire, but insulated copper 
or tinned copper wire. I have that over here, but that's where it stops, and there's no room here. Gosh, no, but uh, I can't do it here unless I uh, transport this somewhere with the robots, but it would be easier to have them close to each other. Uh, but then that just leaves to the place where it used to be and there's no room anymore. Don't think so, unless like here. But the resin is over there. Oh, fuck it, let's do another rubber one over here so that it's produced from both farms. So that was the electric uh, metal mixing furnace and then we'll have the robots bring it like over here or something because it's not like they're gonna build much because it's just gonna be like two more rows if I upgrade this into the Mark II chest so this will go like there with the rubber from there and into a chest although now I'm gonna have like two chests full of rubber oh well Put those there, and then we have the actual insulating wire over here, and it'll be close to the all the other wire types. And that one there, and then let's move this old storage into it. And there you go. Bring the rubber here. I still forgot to choose the recipe. That one, and then the tin wire can be gotten from there I guess let's hope it can pick up from there <laughs> that way it'll probably only pick up when it uh, stops if it's going through it's not gonna be fast enough so maybe you should fix that and just do a candle looking one here up your nose with the rubber hose then we got another provider chest over here <laughs> plenty of rubber to go around it's not like I need to use a resin or wood, but oh well. What's done is done. Back to the uh, tungsten stuff again. Yellow Eleanor factory search complete. Uh, let's see what colors I have left. Can I do orange? Can I do green? Can I do red? Uh, looking pretty damn scarce. Oh, damn, orange I have, I like exactly 100, so I can do that. Let's do it and get back over here where I have uh, these things set up to make the power tungsten. No uh, output, or yes, there is an output there, but I don't want to put it in a chest because it's just a, a component for this and that. So let's leave it like that and then. Over here I have the electrolyzers, but they're not connected yet. So we put... Uh, actually, I don't need a tunnel here, but let's do it anyway, like so. And no more tunnels needed. Put that like there. Too bad I can't rotate the recipe for these. There's no alternate version. Oh well, then we get the O2 somewhere up there. Oh shit, that's way too far of a zoom. Mm, I think the closest O2 is like around there somewhere. So let's build uh, titanium pipes and go underneath. Oh, this are actually... Let's go to the lift. There's more room over there. Oh, looks like these guys have plenty of oxygen. Probably because they're not using it right now. I'm even venting it here. Hmm, I wonder if that's necessary because all of these produce much more uh, nitrogen than oxygen. Because there could be something somewhere that uh, might get uh, clogged if I don't vent the O2. But then again, I don't see that happening. So let's see. Yeah, it's even going super fast into the venting thing because of the pipes over here so let's take it out and that way I can easily connect this new O2 into it right through this end of the pipe booyah more air although now it looks like it's flowing that way no now it stopped yeah 
And uh, it's, you can't decide which way to go because these guys are you know, using it the main culprit when it comes to oxygen usage. So now we need to get nickel and copper plates over here. Nickel is right there in that huge warehouse and on this belt as well. So, um, do I have any, uh, what are those called, requester chests for nickel anywhere, I don't know. Let's see if I can figure it out through this thing. Nickel plate. Aha, uh -huh, there is 400 in a requester chest somewhere. Right there, ah, nickel production, yes. Interesting, but then we also have two warehouses full of it, but uh, they aren't getting any uh, fill up from. Damn it, how do I close this? There we go. Fill up from this belt or this one here. So they will eventually run out. But I kind of want them to run out because there's so freaking much of nickel, and then I can set up a requester chest somewhere on this belt here. Mm, yeah, but then do I do a requester just down there as well to help them empty out or not? Uh, let's do let's do like a output thing from here and also one from this belt and then make it so that this is prioritized over the other. There we go, now it should uh, in output from here first and then take more from that. And then I could also uh, have a thing here to eventually empty this out, but it needs to be offset like that, but I wasn't quick enough, it already <laughs> output it like all the way up to there, but it doesn't block anything there, so it doesn't matter. But now it'll only output, ah oh shit, it needs to be a smart one because there's silver in there as well. And there's probably too much of it for me to pick up. Yeah, 21k. Nope, not gonna be picking that up. You can do it for me. Uh, offset there and output there. Orange aliens done. Did I have enough for the next color? I don't know. What do we have left? Uh, green and red. Red def oh, actually red is closer to 100 than green. Actually, it's actually over 100. So let's do it. Then green is gonna have to be left until later. Kablamo tungsten plates are pumping out of these now into this provider chest. So the uh, what was this powder tungsten comes from down there? It for these crafting time is 17.5 and Nico is coming through this tunnel and that long ass belt from the storage and belt over there. So that just leaves the copper tungsten plate. Hmm, even with these guys long ass uh, crafting time looks like I need more of this. So let's do more of them because the copper tungsten thing also needs them. Good thing I left some space here, so uh, that is the, um, not the electric normal furnace or the metal mixing, but the chemical one. Maybe I should automate some steel pipes, because I need, uh, those are needed for a lot of things. And I also use them as tunnels quite a lot, because they're longer than, longer than the iron ones, uh, where the things go they're not ready yet give me my chemical furnace romance and uh, right now it's starting to pile up there a little bit it's no wonder it's used up so much because there are four of them needed per one nickel plate to make the tungsten uh, plates then we get the copper over here although maybe I need even more of these because the copper Requires three per two copper plates. I guess I could do one more over here. There's room for it. And I have more of these on me. Rotate that. Put that there. Put this here. And output goes 
then the belt goes there why do i even have these belts with me i don't know <laughs> maybe i should drop them from here 